Howdy ho guys, and welcome to another Bojanian vlog. Hope you guys are feeling good. Um, in this entry, I wanted to kind of give a, um, a message that is an extension, as always, of um, uh, one of my earlier entries, which is um, I made uh, an entry entitled Spirituality for Spiritual People, right? And in that entry, I basically said that you know, spirituality is not the spiritual person's journey per se, you know, necessarily. In the sense that, you know, spirituality, like, the way that spirituality is taught, you know, and it appears in, in you know, popular media and stuff like that, is that, you know, people, like, <coughs> you know, when, when people kind of reach for spiritual truth or have a spiritual awakening, that kind of marks, like, the end like the latter part of their journey that's when they find enlightenment as if enlightenment is this um you know is is this this you know this end point you know this ultimate ho holy grail you know that everyone aspires to and that's true for a certain part of the population right um the people who uh you know who are more physically inclined, you know, and, and have been on that physical journey, you know, they, they kind of wrap up their journey, let's just say, with a bit of spiritual, with, with, with a connection to source or, you know, their own divinity, you know, something like that, you know, the spiritual, um, you know, awakening is their, you know, icing on the cake, let's just say, but like someone who is spiritual, right you know someone who is spiritual someone who is more pro prolific on the thought planes right on the higher dimensional planes you know people like us right you know our journey looks different actually you know like yes there is like i mentioned in the video in that video um you know we do have a spiritual awakening and it tends to happen a lot earlier than non-spiritual people or people who aren't as spiritually inclined as us right but that's not the end of it, you know, and because, and we get fed this message that like spiritual, this, you know, the spiritual awakening, enlightenment, you know, is, you know, and ultimately enlightenment is, you know, you can, you can define it in many ways, you know, like I've done so in a lot of my previous entries, you know, you could argue that it is the, you know, it is the, the ownership of meaning, you know, that's one articulation of it, you know, when, when you, when you understand the potential is not limited, you know, that we live in an infinite universe in terms of there is nothing holding us back from imagining anything, right, arising. When you reach that point and that no symbolism or, par or you know, or paradigm that has, that has been presented to us in the past is necessarily there for you to uphold, that's when, you know, yeah, you know, that that's when you kind of reach enlightenment, let's just say, but... Um, it's getting dark. Um, but, um, yeah, but, but like, but for the spiritual person, you know, like the, the, the physical person, you know, the person who is more kind of focused on the physical realm, they've already been through the whole physical thing. You know, they, they know they've, they've already gone through the whole, like how, how to make money, how to survive, how to form relationships with people, you know, um, how to, define themselves in the physical sense, you know, to build an identity, you know, they've already done that stuff, right? And so when they reach that stage, when they need to um, look towards the spiritual, you know, they, you know, they have something coming into it, right? But like for the spiritual person, um, you know, we, we don't have the physical stuff sorted, you know, a lot of us actually go into spirituality because we, we recognize that we suck ass at living on the physical realm right and so like we turn to spirituality we realize that we're not pieces of shit you know you know in the nicest way possible of course but like you know that's how i saw myself you know honestly speaking you know a piece of shit before i had this like this insight right <laughs> it's as dark as that seems you know it's like it's all right i'm smiling right um <laughs> but um yeah but like you know and so like you know the message in, in that video was that you know for the spiritual people your journey is to have the awakening, yes, to wake up to the fact that you are a fifth dimensional, fourth dimensional traveler 
or indeed beyond, and you have mastery over thought and um, and perspective, right? And even to a to degree like, well, you know, this is a bit, I wouldn't say emotions, right? Because emotions is kind of the thing that kind of ties everything together. But like, in terms of, you know, uh, thoughts and actions, you're kind of more in the thought realm, right? And so like, you, you, like, your journey must then be to go out and learn to live, right? Because yes, spiritual awakening is important. You, some of, some of us, you know, I, you know, I'm in this boat. You know, we think that we can use our spiritual knowledge to help other people, right? And like, that's fine, right? But, um, sorry, give me a sec. Let me see if I can illuminate myself a bit more. Not really. <laughs> okay, I brought a light right next to me. I might help a smidgen, but like, does that really help? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So we for for the spirit for, for the spiritual people, you know, our journey is firstly to have the spiritual awakening, to awaken to, you know, our spiritual wisdom, you know, to learn to download, you know, to learn to connect with our divinity, with our higher self, whatever you want to call it, right? But then after that, we must learn to live, right? We must learn to do all the things that we run away from, such as, you know, earning money, you know, uh, protecting ourselves financially, getting into relationships and, you know, making sure they don't go south, you know, um, organizing yourself and like presenting yourself in a way that is pleasant to other people, you know, or that is non, that is, that, that presents an accurate representation of who you are, that, that is in a non kind of like uh, offensive way, you know, you know, tact, social skills, you know, all of these things, you know, leadership skills, money skills, like I mentioned, finance, um, all of these things, you know, that's our journey, you know, it's ironic, isn't it? You know, like we think, we think that we found ourselves only to then realize that like the, the spiritual journey uh, leads us back to, you know, to the call of, okay, okay, dreamer, it's time for you to fucking live now, you know, you've done the dreaming to, the, like, as far as you could, and now you have to live, right, and so, in this entry, I kind of wanted to give something extra to that, you know, um, I wanted to say that, well, I wanted, yeah, you know, in all of my entries, I, I like to give the kind of, like, the kind of neutral, um, perspective, and moreover, it's more kind of fusion of, um, you know, of two different perspectives, right? And, you know, when you kind of go and think about, you know, ex existence and the nature of existence, you realize that a lot of it is very conflicting or seemingly conflicting, right? And, and yet we must find some way to implement that and to accept that. Otherwise, we'll, we'll always be at the mercy of um, all consciousness. You know, that's another way of putting it. You know, we will always be at the mercy of one extreme or the other extreme, and we'll never be able to find a way to live that is balanced. You know, I did another video about, another video about balance, right? And I'll talk about, I'll talk about that as well in my next video, you know, I give a bit of an extension on there as well, but, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, so the kind of middle ground that I want to provide you with is that, in this video, is that, well, first of all, you know, one of the statements is, spirituality is just information. Right. And what I mean by this is that, you know, this statement is, is ultimately a representation of, well, you know, it, it really, it says what it does on a tin, you know, as, 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 you know, if, as it were, you know, in the sense that spirituality is information, you know, spirituality is about information. And that, that kind of fucking makes sense, right? You know, it, it kind of like, yeah, so pretty self-explanatory, right? Spirituality is about, well, or rather that, yeah, you know, like I say that spiritual people are more focused on the, on the thought realm and, you know, essentially 
that's what it means, right? But the thought realm is but that, you know, the thought realm, right? The thought realm is not this, you know, or anything in this physical realm, right? The thought realm is pre-manifested, right? Which means that it doesn't have a bearing on physical reality in a direct sense, right? You know, I mentioned, you know, a bit earlier, you know, um, how you have being, you know, I made a bit like, this is going back quite a while now, but like there was a video I made about be thoughts being an action or rather being thoughts in action, in action, you know, which basically is representation of, well, being, you know, yeah, being is just, we, we all do that, you know, that's like, that's just something that's always there, right? But like thoughts and actions, they are separate, you know, they don't mingle. They have an effect on one another, but they don't, they don't exist in the same plane, right? We're talking different dimensional planes here, right? The thought realm, which is the high dimensional planes, right? Are pre-manifested pre states or probably, they're not even states, they're probabilities, right? That don't have a direct bearing on your physical life, right? And this is the one pitfall that we must watch out for, particularly our spiritual people is that we sometimes fall under, you know, we sometimes fall into the trap of thinking that like, if we, as, as long as we think in a certain way, we focus in like that higher dimensional thought based way that, you know, on, on like a, on a pleasant, positive physical situation that that will magically appear. You know, it's, it's almost, it's almost crazy, you know, it's almost naive, you know, it, it is naive when we think like that. And I, I catch myself doing it all the time, right? And for some reason, I keep doing it over and over again, like, you know, I, I have this, I, I, I think to myself, I brainwash to myself in thinking, like, as long as I focus on this one thing in a positive light, and I visualize that thing becoming true, then that will be enough for it to come true. And it's like, no. You know, that's the bottom line. No, it's not. You know, no matter how much you, you focus on something in, in, in terms of like just visualizing it, like it's never going to directly manifest, right? And that's the lesson. That's one part of the lesson, right? That I have to give to you. You know, it's the pitfall that most of us spiritual people fall into. It's like, oh, the law of attraction, right? You know, all I have to do is focus on the thing that I want and it will come to me. And it's like, no, it won't. Or rather that that enough is not, that alone is not enough. You know, that is just a thought. It is just a, a visualization. You know, it is just a hope. It is just something that, that you have that is internal that you have you know created that is pre-manifested right it is a thought you know however way you want to explain it right it's a thought it is a visualization and so it is pre-manifested so it is not going to suddenly appear in your in your reality right what does make something appear in your reality is a physical thing a physical force a physical activity, a physical event. Come on, you know, what else were you expecting me to say? Or rather, what were you expecting the case to be? You know, like nothing is going to like randomly manifest out of thin air. Like, like there might be instances sometimes where like something appears, like synchronicities, you know, spiritual people like talking about things like, things like those, you know, like just crazy coincidences. But, and yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, there's synchronicities, there's like serendipity, you know, things like that. But like, just the mere focus on something is not going to directly manifest what you want, right? Because the missing link is action. How about them apples, man? It's like, I'm, I'm like jeering. Like, I'm kind of like, you know, yeah, my, my tone is a bit kind of mocking, but like, I do the same fucking thing. It's like, sometimes I'm like, oh man, like... I'm just going to keep focusing on this thing and like maybe one day it's going to work and like deep down I know subconsciously it's never going to work you know but I still have that hope and it's like yeah I get it ego you know yeah it's scary that you can't have what you want blah 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 but like it's just 
you know, of course, how did I, how do I know this? As, you know, the same way that I discover everything else in my life, you know, it is banging my head against the wall until I finally realized, as my head is bulbous, bloody, and fucking broken, that, like, it doesn't work. You know, it's like the same with, like, emotional stuff, it's the same with anything else, you know. You beat your head against the wall enough, you will finally realize that it doesn't work, right? That it's, it's not the same, it's not that way that you imagined it to be, right? And that's the, that's the same with spirituality, essentially. Spirituality is great, you know. Spirituality, as I say, is great. If you're a spiritual person, flaunt that shit, you know. I'm, and, like, of course, the other part of this is that well, spirituality may not have a direct influence on your physical life, quality of life, but only a fool ignores spirituality. And that's the other side of it. And that's the kind of, ah, that's the kind of breath of relief, right? Only a fool ignores spirituality and higher truths, right? So one side of this is, yes, you can't just wish things into existence. It doesn't work like this, you know? A thought, a visualization is pre-manifested. It's not, like, no matter how much wishing you do, it's not going to suddenly appear, right? But at the same time, the person who ignores spirituality, and of course, this isn't really going to be anyone who is watching this, I, I suspect, you know, unless, you know, the, the kind of person who, who is, like, already on their way, you know, his, is more kind of physically oriented. Yeah, you know, like, those kinds of people tend to do more and, and think less, you know, think less deeply about things. But, like, it, only a fool says, like, ha, huh, spirituality, divinity, oneness, fuck all that shit, you know, like, like, visualization, fuck that shit, you know, like, only a, an idiot does that, you know, and, like, of course, there are those idiots, you know, because they need to be idiots in order to learn at some point, after beating their heads against the walls, that being an idiot, like, or, or like, being an idiot leads to them not being an idiot, you know, being an idiot leads to not being an idiot, you know, who would have thunk it, right? But there we go, you know, I'm a fucking idiot and like I'm gonna keep banging my head against this wall apparently until I fucking realize that like I've gotta just fucking take action, right? And of course it's the right kind of action, you know, it's not just like wanton action, you know, action that, that doesn't have... Because like I've done this, we've all done this, right? You know, we realize, oh, maybe like we need to do more than just visualize and, and dream and, 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 and longingly hope for things to happen. We have to go out and do things, but then like we get suckered into like the whole kind of like, oh yeah, it's all about, you know, it's all about marketing and money and all that stuff. Yeah, you know, that, that stuff, you need to do that stuff, you know, let's be honest. But like, we like, you know, our sen sensitive beings, like we kind of go overboard, you know, we like, we think that like marketing means like manipulating, manipulating people out of their money or that like, business means like bossing people around and making money and profit and stuff like that well no it's not as bad as you think you know but it does mean like you have to kind of um you know you have to learn to discern you know another that's another kind of major thing that i introduced way back in like august 2014 you know the idea of discernment you know, another way that I can express that is objectivity, right? That's that's what kind of I'm striving towards, you know, I'm nowhere near there. But like, I think that anyone who, who is conscious and wants, you know, and, and, you know, conscious and wants a better life, et cetera, et cetera, you know, anyone like that is always looking to be objective, is always lear like learning not to be dogmatic, and it's fucking easy to say that. It's fucking the hardest thing ever to do that in practice, you know. We all cling to things, you know. We all um, we all have dogma. We all have things that we can't let go of. And yet, there will come a point where, like, life will smack you over and over again until you realize... Life will keep reminding you, you know, you know you're too attached to this shit. You're too attached to this shit. Right. And this is actually something I'm going to talk about in the next century. So I'm going to save this for that. So cool. Hope that first part you know this is kind of a first part like it was interesting and i hope you will catch the next part of this i will see you there peace out guys yeah